as I've kind of teased up till now, today we're going to be learning all about using Google Analytics 4 as your e-commerce analytics tool, both for tracking, reporting, all of that stuff. Mike will take us into some more in-depth, the detailed reporting um, looks as far as orienting yourself in Google Analytics 4 and understanding what you're really looking at when you're in the platform. He's also going to take us into some live examples, both in the uh, Google Analytics 4 demo store, as well as within some in-house reports we have here for Inflow. Um, just to give you an example of some of the capabilities of the platform and what it would look like as you're actually going through it. So now that you know, we understand some of the basics about the metrics and we understand you know, how to orient ourselves and have a little bit of better idea of what we're looking at when we look at reports in Google Analytics, let's look at some live examples and see where we can find some of this stuff. And we'll switch over to exploration reports and see how to build an e-commerce funnel and how to analyze that funnel, as well as how to identify the most popular site conversion paths, including a really cool new feature in pathing called reverse pathing in GA4. We're going to look at e-commerce funnel reporting. So now we're in the exploration report. So if you click on explore and uh, you choose to do a funnel exploration, you will get sent into a screen that looks somewhat, somewhat like this that you can customize. What I've done here is created a custom funnel. That's the really cool thing about funnel analysis in GA4 uh, versus UA. In UA, you, know, you had to establish the, the funnel. It was very uh, rigid, if you will. Whereas in GA4, you can come in and create a funnel at any time. You can look at data from the past. You don't have to have it set up before you start analyzing data. So there's a lot of other things that you can do. And you know what you would do is define your steps here that happen. And of course, Google's giving you the visualization that happens. You can also look at this as a trended funnel versus a standard, standard funnel, or make this an open funnel versus what's now is a closed funnel. And that simply just means that instead of the user having to enter always at step one, uh, an open funnel, a user can enter at any step and then continue through the process. Lastly, we're going to look at pathing. And again, this is, I think, one of the coolest things in GA4 where we could look at user paths before, but now we can do reverse pathing. So what I've done here is I've started with my endpoint purchase event that happens in GA4. And then I'm tracing it back. I started with an event, but now I'm looking at the page path and screen class. You can also change this to any of these options here, page title and screen name, page title and screen class, depending on how you wanna see the user and how they made it eventually to the purchase. This is just simply work, working your way backwards uh, and it can give you a real good idea of how users are getting there, what the path is that they're taking to get to your ultimate goal. And of course you can optimize from there.